We continue to focus on the state of insecurity in Nigeria. Henceforth, Nigerians may be going to bed with their two eyes closed, but that will only happen if the National Security Council speeds up its new strategies to curtail the worsening insecurity in the country. The council also acknowledged that Nigerians are tired and now gravitating towards self-help. That's according to the National Security Advisor, Major General Bangana Munguno, retired, who spoke at the end of the Security Council meeting convened by President Mohamed Buhari. State House correspondent Femi Akode reports. Another Security Council meeting, which again reflects the mood of the nation and depicts a frightening security situation that for now has defied all solutions thrown at it. The outcome this time is an announcement that security agencies are working on a new strategy to deal with existing and emerging threats to national security. The members of the armed forces have also made a commitment that in the coming weeks, they've already started working on a new strategy to deal with these snippets of violence and they've given their word, their commitment to the president that there will be a change in momentum. Data from the Nigeria Security Tracker, a project of the Council on Foreign Relations of the United States, reveals that activities of violent, non-state actors had claimed more than 5,000 lives nationwide between January and June this year. At least 996 persons were violently killed in January. 765 in February, 1,214 in March, 917 in April, 594 in May, and 736 in June, totaling 5,222 in the first half of this year alone. It is at this Security Council meeting that new strategies to end the killings and violent crimes are conceived and a plan of action is developed. But to stop this escalating insecurity, the federal government insists it must be with the support of citizens. In this type of asymmetric conflict is a collective effort. It's not something that should be confined to only the security, intelligence and law enforcement agencies. When we keep saying whole of society approach, whole of government approach, to get a whole of nation approach, what it means is that everybody has to partake in this enterprise. Already the security threat level in the federal capital has been raised, especially after the recent ambush of soldiers from the Presidential Guard Brigade. The Kuje jailbreak is another breach of national security that has left many questions unanswered. The council is in the process of winding up the special investigative panel on the Kuje incident. And the idea is to come up with recommendations, hold those who are supposed to be held accountable for their deeds and to ensure that this type of thing never, ever, ever happens again in this country. The federal government also acknowledges that citizens are tired and gravitating towards self-help. It appears the federal government is also worried about how the media reports issues of insecurity and the effect it has on the population, especially as the events in recent days have impacted the approval rating of President Buhari's administration but the president is in a race against time to turn the tide. Femi Akonde, TVC News, Abuja.